money. Sorry to keep you waiting. Hare Krishna. So we were speaking about Lord Krishna's pastimes. They were being described to us by Gop Kumar, a cowherd boy from Govardhan. So he was telling about how Akrura came to Vrindavan and brought Krishna to Mathura. And we heard how it was very painful for the people of Vrindavan for Krishna to leave them. And Nanda Maharaj had gone to Mathura with Krishna, but he had to go back on his own. So this was the the people of Vrindavan they don't even like to think about Krishna leaving them. When Krishna is with them, when Krishna is with the people of Vrindavan, they don't think anything. They completely forget about the past, and they never think about the future. Krishna and Vrindavan people are together. The Vrindavan people never think about the past, and they never think about the future. So, Gop Kumar describes, on another occasion, Akrura came back to Vrindavan on his chariot, and he came back just like he'd never been there before. Yeah, on the order of Kamsa, Akrura came to bring Krishna to Mathura. So everybody is so bewildered by the influence of the Goloka atmosphere that nobody could remember that this was not the first time Akrura had arrived in Vrindavan. And even Akrura couldn't remember he'd been there, but he'd come there before. So he, he again he took away the life of Vrindavan. And his residence went into that same state of feeling separation from Krishna. So, 
and again Krishna went to Mathura and again he killed Kamsa. And again he came back to Vrindavan and he continued before to play, to enjoy his pastimes. So Krishna again and again goes to come the city of Kamsa, Mathura. And again and again he comes back to Vrindavan to have his pastimes with the people of Vrindavan. So Krishna and, and Krishna also con he, 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 con he dances on the hoods of Kaliya again and again. And, the, and again and again he will lift up Govardhan Hill. And so this way Krishna performs his wonderful pastimes over and over again. And in this way, he, he pleases the heart of his devotees. So we should understand all of Krishna's pastimes, beginning with the killing of Putana, are eternal. And Krishna enjoys them with all the devotees in Goloka, just as often as they like. But, but each time the pastime is repeated, it's like they never did it before, it's like a new pastime. And we may wonder how could Krishna perform these pastimes again and again? He already did it one time, he's doing it again. And can, how is it possible demons like Putana could be killed again and again? We have to understand Krishna's pastimes are transcendental. And they're, they're meant to attract all of his devotees. Some devotees are his eternal companions and some are new devotees. So even the, even the new devotees, they will feel so much love for Krishna when they hear his pastimes. Just by hearing these pastimes, then devotee will remember in their heart about Krishna's activities. And when the devotees meditate on these pastimes, then they'll get very special happiness.
每当奉献者们冥想这些消时光，内心就会感到由衷的快乐。And、so Krishna's pastimes fill the heart of even the neophyte devotee. 所以 Krishna 的消时光，甚至嗯，充盈了新奉献者的心意。And those who are Krishna's eternal devotees, they taste a very special sweetness that. Nobody, nobody knows, except them. But for the people of Vrindavan, they're bewildered due to their intense love for Krishna. But Vrindavan 的居民们。由于他们对 Krishna 这种强烈的爱意，所以他们会感到困惑。It's like a kind of poison, a special poison that they could never think of any of the events that ever took place before. 就好像他们嗯，就是嗯，被一种特殊的毒药呃发挥了药效一样，所以他们已经想不起来。The people of Vrindavan, they're not even aware that these pastimes have been repeated. They just feel so much attraction, so much involvement in the pastime. They never think about anything which happened before. 已经被深深的吸引了，而且他们已经全身心的投入进去，他们根本就没意识到以前曾经发生过。This is the highest state of Krishna Prem. 这是 Krishna Prem 最崇高的境界。So the power of their love for Krishna, it it continually grows, and and it grows. Sometimes when they're with Krishna, and also when they're in separation from Krishna, their love for Krishna will grow more and more. So this is true for the. For the people of Vrindavan who are all, who are living there eternally, and Gob Kumar, who is telling about this, he said, even a newcomer like me, I can hardly remember the past, the things which happened in the past. Because devotional service is so transcendental, the devotees can't think about anything which happened in the past. Yeah, some some devotees are like they were just they were conditioned souls, but they've just become pure devotees. And so they're beginning to do service for Krishna in the spiritual world. So they're like new devotees. So the bridge basi people, they're always in the ocean. They're always in this ocean made by the rivers of this sweetness of love for Krishna. Bridge basi 的的居民们，他们总是沉浸在就是由对 Krishna 的爱所呃构成的这个河流汇成的。
And because they have this pure love, they become like mad people. And the most wonderful thing is that the, the most enlightened person is Krishna himself. And Krishna is in the ocean of love for his devotees. And he cannot remember what he's done and what he's going to do. So, we would think, you know, somebody has the love of God, they must have perfect knowledge. So, how could they, how could they forget about the things which they've done? So one, somebody who has love of God, they know everything. They're, they know, they can, they know, it's natural that they will know everything. But because they have love of God, so what they know is not necessarily what we think they need to know. When somebody has love of God, then what they understand is knowledge and what is ignorance is different from what we think is knowledge and what is ignorance. So because of Yoga Maya, Krishna forgets what he did before. But sometimes he will remember. If it's if it helps the pastime, then Krishna will remember what he's done. So Krishna's pastimes are eternal and totally spiritual and eternal, the full of eternity, knowledge and bliss. So these pastimes help attract us to the Lord's lotus feet to engage in devotional service. We want to follow Krishna everywhere. And we want to provide whatever is necessary for each of the uh, pastimes. So Krishna's Leela is, is the display of Krishna's eternal, internal energy. It's all Krishna's internal energy. So it's not different from Krishna. 
And there's also transcendental variety. So there's never any defect in Krishna's Leela. Even when Krishna's behaving like an ordinary person. Just like when the ladies in Vrindavan, they complain to Mother Yashoda about Krishna. Yeah, when Krishna is caught, maybe doing some naughty things, then the master of the house will catch him and say, Oh, you are a thief. And they'll, they'll, they'll pretend to be angry at Krishna. But Krishna will reply to them, I am not a thief, you are a thief. Sometimes when Krishna, sometimes Krishna will get angry himself. And then he will pass urine and stool in a, in a, you find a nice, clean, tidy place and he'll pass urine and stool in our houses. But then they see that Krishna, although he's such a expert thief, he sits before Mother Yashoda like he's a very good boy. And sometimes all the gopis would look at Krishna sitting there and they'd see Krishna, he'd be sitting looking afraid, like he was afraid, so that his mother would, was going to punish him. So when the gopis saw Krishna like that, they were so attracted by Krishna's beautiful face that they, they stopped complaining about him. And they would just simply look at his face and enjoy transcendental bliss. And so Mother Yashoda would smile about this and, and And she wouldn't want to just, she wouldn't want to do anything to Krishna, she wouldn't want to punish him. So Krishna's pastimes are attracted. Krishna's pastimes, they, 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 it's their desire, the the Krishna's pastime, uh, uh, Krishna's, Krishna's lotus feet are attracted by his pastimes. Krishna 
and they are attracted by the service attitude of his devotees. So Krishna's pastimes are just simply Krishna imitating the activities of human beings. So Gok Kumar is telling all this to to this to this other Brahmana and he said, I've told you about Goloka's special pastimes. So these pastimes are very sweet and it's, it's compared to a flowing river. So the Brahmana said, the Brahmana who is with Gopkumar, he said, you know, for, for a long time I've been looking to find, to satisfy the desires. He said, hearing about you, that you, you had so many desires in your heart, and finally you got to Krishna's abode. So now, now Krishna's gone to Mathura. Where are you going to stay and how will you live? Because Gop Kumar had the desire, he wanted to see Lord Gopal and he wanted to join in the pastimes of Lord Gopal. So now Gop Kumar has reached Goloka Vrindavan. But Krishna left Vrindavan to go to Mathura. So how can Gop Kumar tolerate to live in Vrindavan? Yeah, because Gop Kumar is attached to living in the village, in the countryside. And Krishna performed his pastimes in the village in the countryside, so how can he even think about going to Mathura? So Gop Kumar says, by the order of Krishna, I and all the devotees, like me, we still live in Vrindavan. I li we live in the company of people like Nanda Maharaj and the other cowherd men who have the same mood as ours.
So when when Krishna was leaving Vrindavan, he gave special instructions to the new devotees who had come there to be with him. They had all the devotees, these new devotees, they were they had all had spontaneous love for Krishna. So they were doing what's called Raganuga sadhana. So he t Krishna told them to stay in Vrindavan and continue to associate with people like Nanda Maharaj. Because Nanda Maharaj's way of practicing bhakti yoga was similar to their own practice. If the new devotees were to go to Mathura, then it would disturb their mood. It would stop their spiritual advancement. It is, it is said, if an intelligent person wants to see his family prosper, he should stay with his own people. So this is the nature of Goloka, Krishna's world. Even, in his, even when Krishna leaves, the residents want to stay. No one wants to go anywhere else. There may appear to be moments when people are very sorry, when people are very unhappy, but that is another special kind of happiness. And the pain, when they experience different pains, like when Krishna leaves, this is another kind of bliss. The anxiety which the people of Goloka feel it, it, it's, the, it's another special kind of spiritual ecstasy. So this is the nature of the special love for Krishna found only in Goloka. So Gop Kumar said, because this was my desire, so I stay here. I don't want to go anywhere else. 
，呃，波帕库马尔就说道：“因为这是我的愿望，所以我就留在了这里，我也没有去别的地方。” I'm, I, in my heart, I can appreciate the endless perfection of life. And the nature of life here is such: I never feel like I've had enough. I never become tired of it. 而在这里的生活的本性就是，我内心嗯，从来没，没有觉得已经足够了，我从来没有感到厌倦。So I can never give up Krishna's lotus feet. 我永远也无法放弃 Krishna 的莲花足。I'm, I, I can never stop using my mind and body and senses, not even for a moment. I have to use them all for the service of Krishna. Although I'm a very Fallen person, I'm very unqualified, but Krishna has given me special favor, his special mercy. The mercy, or, or other people can never hope to get this, the mercy which I got. So Gob Kumar said, "I've told you about all this." He said, "It's very confidential." He said, "They should not be told to others." Gob Kumar 就说，我所告诉你的这一切都是机密的。Actually, Sanatana Goswami explained. Sanatana Goswami, he wrote this book. He explained that Shrimati Radharani personally ordered Gop Kumar to enlighten this Brahmana about Krishna, about these pastimes. Sanatana Goswami said that. 实际上是须拉提拉德拉尼本人亲自命令了高帕库马来启迪这一位弗拉玛呢，来呃启迪他有关于库什纳的消息方。So Gob Kumar says, after staying for some time in Goloka, I realized that this this place. Is not that this that that I realized that Vrindavan, Mathura, and Vrindavan in the material world are not different from Goloka. Right, Goloka is in the spiritual world, and Gokula is in the the material world. So these two places are identical. So just like. Just like a jnani, he can understand the Brahman, so he can understand the spirit soul. Just 
So in the same way, anybody who understands Goloka, they will also un understand Gokula, to be not different. So impersonal Brahman, the impersonal Brahman cannot be known to somebody who has not trained the mind. So for the benefit of the neophyte jnanis, the Upanishad only talk about Brahman as tat. They will only say that, tat, that. So they want to, because people are not so familiar with the language, so they, they don't want to confuse them about Brahman. They're not ready to understand the Brahman. So just like in Goloka, there's many kinds of very divine gopas and gopis and cows, so also in Gokula it's the same. And the other animals, the animals and the birds and the insects and the mountains, they're all divine, they're all very special. The rivers and the trees, all kinds of creatures, they're all not ordinary creatures, they're very special creatures. So Goloka and Gokula, they're just like each other, they're, they're just the same. Somebody, in, in one place somebody may be playing a role, he's playing a part. So he may be, di he may be different from those in the other place. But the, there's, their purpose in, the, in Krishna's pastimes is the same. Gokulas, the cowherd men and women of Gokula are all, it's, they're all people of the Holy, they're all people of They're, they're all inhabitants of the Holy Dham. And they're just like the people in the spiritual world. And 
And the same with the trees and the creepers and the plants. They're just like the, the creepers and the plants and the trees in the spiritual world. So Gob Kumar says, sometimes I stay here in this material world and sometimes I go to the Goloka in the spiritual world. I don't see any difference between the two places. But in the beginning, before, be, before he could understand that, he was making a great effort to try to go there, to go loka. So traveling from one place to the other, back and forth, it, it, it seems that there is, that you would think there must be some difference. But Gop Kumar said, I'm so attached. I'm so attached to these, to both the places, I don't notice any difference. Because he, he, Gop Kumar is moving, he's moving from the earth planet the earth planet Goloka, Gokula is on the earth planet and it's in the middle of the universe, in the material world. And Goloka is the topmost planet in the spiritual world. But Gop Kumar said, I don't see any difference. Just, just, and says that he says that for him to go there, to, to, to go to these places, it's no more trouble. It's just like a farmer, he goes, walks from his house, he walks to his field. It's, it's like that, it's no trouble at all. Mm. He said, uh, my hearing or my seeing or even my mind, it doesn't touch any other, it only, it only touches these two places, nowhere else. Gop Kumar doesn't care about anything else, he only thinks about Gokula and Goloka. And he said, in my heart, I could never think that Krishna's devotees could live anywhere else except these two places. So 
So Gop Kumar is talking only about Krishna, the original personality of Godhead. He's not talking about any of his expansions like Vasudeva who is in Dwarka. He said, sometimes I may see people from Vaikuntha or sometimes people from other places, but to my eyes they appear to be suffering from separation from Krishna. So this is the vision of a, a person on the topmost level of devotion. Yeah, one who is a Paramahamsa, he will see everyone as if they are also in the same mood as him. So even he meets devotees who come from Dwarka or Ayodhya or Vaikuntha, but he thinks of them in relation to his own feeling to Vrindavan. So this way Gop Kumar remains always satisfied in the glories of Goloka. He doesn't see the, in these other devotees, he doesn't see anything except the mood of Vrindavan. But if he does see something which is not like Vrindavan, then he will be very disappointed. But when that happens, I feel more love for Krishna. And my, when my disappointment makes, gives me the, it results in my happy, great happiness. So devotees from outside of Vrindavan, they're also blissful, they're eternally blissful, although they're not in Vrindavan. Yeah, even though they don't have direct company with Krishna, they're still happy. So Gop Kumar wonders, how could they be happy without being in Vrindavan? And so that increases Gop Kumar's own love for Krishna. He appreciates how good, how fortunate he is. Krishna 
So even when he's passing through Vaikuntha or the material world, he'll be happy. And Gokumar said, how, how, what can I say about Goloka? Its residents are all honored by people everywhere. They're so wonderful. People all over people all over people all over the world they glorify the people of Vrindavan. And so he said to all the people who live with Krishna in that abode in Goloka, I offer my obeisances. And so that Goloka is the highest place in the spiritual world. And the highest, the highest thing is to have pure love for the lotus, lotus feet of Krishna. And hearing and talking about Krishna's pastimes in Goloka and in Gokula are the most one, that's the best way to use our time for anybody. So, when we hear about these pastimes, then we should also want to offer our respects to these very fortunate people who live there in Goloka and Gokula. And just simply by hearing them, then we're, we're showing proper respect and we're, we're honoring their love for Krishna. Okay, so that's the end of that chapter. We're going to go on next time to the to the last chapter, which is called The Bliss of the Worlds. Okay, so we'll ask if there are some questions. Hello, 主Krishna的名字 
，小心的去做事。我这样的心态理解对吗？感恩功德仁慈，谢谢您。This question is from Chandra Vilasini. She said, "Hark, Krishna obeisance to Guru's lotus feet, obeisance to all assembled devotees." Yesterday, I made a video about the appearance day of Lord Nishinga. I introduced the chanting of Nishinga mantra. This morning, morning when the moon is doing japa, I had a strong sense of the. That Lord Krishna is the the uh, presence of Lord Krishna. So my question is that, uh, Guru, is it that uh, by calling Krishna's name or uh, his divine grace Shri Prabhupada's name, they will be present? Is this the uh, the great um, mystical um, mysticism? Is, is this the greatest mysticism? So this is the first question. Yes, when you call the name of Srila Prabhupada or call the name of Krishna, Krishna is present in his name. Yes. Yes, this is mystical, how Krishna can be in his name, but it's true, Krishna is in his name. Just like when we call your name, Chandra Vilasani, Chandra Vilasani, so you, you are, we get your attention, you, you respond to your name. So Krishna, Prabhupada, they also respond to their name. 这个确实是最大的神秘点，但这个千真万确的，他们的名字怎么呢？就是一模一样的，他们和他们的名字是一样的，就像我们呃呼唤你的名字，昌哲维拉斯尼，你立刻就注意到了，并且你立刻就呃
Krishna is watching you, Prabhupada is watching you. There's a story about one devotee in South India. Now this one devotee, he was, he, he was very poor and he, his job was to take care of sheep. So people didn't think he was a very important devotee. So it happened, you know, he, he, he took a guru and the guru understood that this, this man who takes care of the sheep is actually a very advanced devotee. So he, he, he wanted to show his disciples that this man, although he just takes care of sheep, he's a very special devotee. So he gave all, all of them, he gave them each a banana and he told them all, he said, I want you to go some place where nobody is watching you, where nobody sees you and eat your banana. So next day they all came back and everybody had eaten their banana except this one man who was taking care of the sheep. The guru told them to go and eat your banana, but eat it in a place where nobody can see you, where nobody's watching. So the next day they came back, everyone had eaten their banana, except for the one man who was taking care of the sheep. He still had his banana. So the Guru asked him, he said, why didn't you eat your banana? And the man said, the, the man who takes care of the sheep, he said, he said, wherever I went, he said, there was, I could always feel the Lord is watching me. So this was, this showed he was a very special devotee. So we should also understand the Lord is watching us. Especially when you're calling his name. Okay. How you went to my my question is that uh, why uh, when the blood of Lord Nithai um, 
fell on the ground, the earth will have calamity, suffer calamity when the blood of Lord Nityananda fell falls on the ground. Because it's a great offense to strike Lord Nityananda and to draw blood from his head. So because you've offended such a great personality, so it will bring disaster on the whole planet. So there are seven question marks. Uh, should I read all? Or no, one read one at a time. Okay, so first uh, she asked that um, the spiritual world is eternal. So there is no limitation of time and space in spiritual world. Yes. No limitation of time and space in the spiritual world. That's right. But there's the impression of time. Because Krishna wants to enjoy his pastimes, and so there's the impression of time. Just like Krishna goes out every morning, take the cows to the forest of Vrindavan, and then you come back at night. And in the night, Krishna likes to go to dance Rasa Lila with the gopis. So Krishna has different pastimes at different times of the day. And this is all for Krishna's pleasure. If there's no time, then there's there's no pleasure. You don't have there's no pleasure, there's no waking up, there's no going to sleep, you know, it, it's just all the same time. Everything says there's no time, so there's no change. So it becomes very boring. So Krishna enjoys in the spiritual world. In the spiritual world, there's variety for Krishna's pleasure. This is different from Buddhism. In Buddhism, Everything is one, or everything is just Buddha. There's only the Buddha. Everybody is Buddha. So there's no relationships. You don't have any, you don't talk to people, you don't have any friends, because everybody is the Buddha. I'm Buddha, you're Buddha, nothing to say, 
nothing to be done. So no variety. So stop everything, just sit down, meditate, don't do anything. So it becomes very boring for people. But you can see in Krishna consciousness, there's so many activity, there's so much variety. There's so many. And Krishna's enjoying relationships with his devotees. Yeah, so the Leela, the, the past time you are re, uh, narrating, is it uh, performed always, continuously? Yes. Well, it, it's performed again and again. It's not that it goes on all the time, but it's done, and then there will be a stop, and then after some time, maybe done again. We heard Krishna again and again will pick up Govardhan Hill. It's not that he picks up Govardhan Hill and puts it down, and then he picks it up again, and then puts it down, and then he picks up again, that he's always picking up Govardhan Hill. It's not like that. But there will be certain times he will pick it up, and he'll put it down, and then after some other time, after a, a, long, a break, then he'll come, after some time he'll come, and he may pick up the hill again. Okay, Shai Gavanti. Is it the same in Boma Vrindavan? Yes. But in, yeah. Bom, in Boma Vrindavan, Krishna is unmanifest. He's not manifest all the time. In Goloka, he's always manifest. But in Boma Vrindavan, and Vrindavan on the earth planet, he's manifest sometimes, not all the time. Krishna他不总是展示一个 so as a Buddhist, why uh, once um, or why once here uh, listening about the Christian consciousness will be very happy in heart and immediately they take up chanting sixteen rounds and listen to the past of Krishna. Very, very earnestly. So, is it that uh, this person is initiate was initiated by Guru in the past in the in the past? 
May have been. Maybe. Possible. Yeah. Maybe they had connection with. But we have to see that they are. Are they, are they going to maintain Krishna consciousness? Now that they've taken up Krishna consciousness, they've begun chanting, they have to keep chanting. Yes, but possibly... She asked, they, uh, yeah, they ask what? Is it that the, the guru who initiated us in the past it will be the same initiating Diksha Guru? Not necessarily. We think. The guru from the past can arrange for somebody else to go and give them initiation. And when you become perfect in Krishna consciousness, when you go back to Krishna, you don't need your guru. But you still keep a relationship with the Guru. You still respect him. You see the Guru as a friend. Yeah. Krishna不需要我们太多，拼命苦修学习，更喜欢和奉献着玩耍。请问Guru应该怎么才吸引Krishna和我们一起玩呢？是不是就这样，玩耍可以回归灵性世界呢？ So, uh, after listening so many lectures from Guru and reading the scriptures, it seems that Krishna doesn't need us to be uh, to doing so much tapasya or so much learning. He seems to like to play with devotees more. So, Guru, how can we attract Krishna to play with us? Is, is, it, is it by playing we can go back to the spiritual world like this? Well, we have to develop our devotion for Krishna. So, it's not just playing for Krishna, but when we do our austerities, we can also do austerities for Krishna. Just like we read about Prishni and Sutapa. Prishni and Sutapa, they wanted to have Krishna as their child. So to get Krishna as their child, they did great austerities for a long time. We have to learn to control our mind and senses before we can go and play with Krishna. Krishna does not just take anybody to play with him. He takes only special people who are very pure. 
是呢，不会随随便便的就和任何人玩耍，他只会和那些内心纯洁的人、特殊的人一起玩耍。Just like all all of the cowherd boys who were playing with Krishna, they'd all perform pious activities over many lifetimes to become Krishna's friends. 和 Krishna 在一起的那些牧牧牛童们。他们生生世世从事了虔诚活动之后，才得以做 Krishna 的朋友。So it's it's important for us to develop love for Krishna, and to develop love for Krishna, we have to do things like sometimes do some austerity. 所以，重要的是要发展起对 Krishna 的奉爱之情。为了发展起这种父爱呢，有的时候我们必须不得不去从事一些苦行。Our austerity is strictly following four regulative principles. 我们的苦行是严格的遵守四项规范原则。And chanting every day at least sixteen rounds. 每一天至少。And then we do austerity on the holy days, like the appearance day of Lord Krishna and his different incarnations. We also will do different holy days, like the appearance day of Lord Krishna and his different incarnations. We also will do different holy days, like the appearance day of Lord Krishna and his different incarnations. We also will do different holy days, like the appearance day of Lord Krishna and his different incarnations. So, whatever we do, whatever austerities we perform, we should do it for Krishna. 无论我们做什么，我无论我们做什么苦行，都是为了 Krishna 而做。We want to develop love for Krishna. 从而我们希望发展对 Krishna 的奉爱。Then, when we love Krishna, when we have pure love for Krishna, then we can play with Krishna. There is a, a new devotee who has been initiated recently. She had uh, eat, eaten some uh, vegetarian, uh, some uh, some meals, vegetarian meals that could by non devotees because uh, there are so much so much pepper in the meal. She had some uh, salt. The pain of the soul cannot speak for several days. Even yesterday night, she even had some nightmares. So she, so this guru gave, uh, and she is so scared, and she began to listen to Lord Krishna, the happiness, the source of happiness, for the whole night until the uh, day, uh, until the early morning. So guru, please quickly give him some. Give her some uh, instructions. What did she do? She ate something with salt. She ate some uh, something that uh, cooked by non devotees, and there are so many, uh, maybe black pe pepper, too many black pepper, and, and cooked by a non devotee, even it is uh, vegetarian. Mm -hmm. Veg ve even it is. Uh, so you have to be very careful. You don't want to eat food cooked by non-devotees. Yeah, eat food cooked by non-devotees. You don't know what, what kind of food you get, what's happening. 
What you get karma by eating food cooked by non devotees. In China, we have the saying that disease comes from the mouth. So you have to be very careful what you put in your mouth. If it's not prasadam, then you just have to say thank you, sorry, you just, or just leave it, let somebody else take it. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, when you eat something like that, which is not so pure and it affects you, then you have to do more chanting. You have to take shelter of the holy name and pray to Krishna to relieve you of the reactions of eating food cooked by a non-devotee. Yeah. Shall I go with uh, the next? Mm -hmm. The next one. Y yes, yes, ma'am. Go ahead. Uh, next question comes from Prabhu. Dimba Maharaj and all of the servants. When they read, everything is pure. The Prabhupada is in America. Obeisance to Maran of all devotees. So everything in the Vandavan is pure. When Srila Prabhupada went to America to spread Krishna consciousness movement, he said that he is still in Vandavan. So how to understand this? Well, this is the vision, this is the Paramahansa devotee, that wherever they go, they take the mood of Vrindavan with them. Just like we were hearing today about Gov Kumar, he says sometimes he may go to Vaikuntha or Dwarka, or Ayodhya, but he's always thinking about Goloka and Gokula. People who live in Vrindavan they become attached to Vrindavan. They don't want to see anything else, any place separate from Vrindavan. So Gop Kumar, we heard, when he met people, he would feel, he would think of but he would think that all oh, the these people are missing Vrindavan. They're not able. They're feeling separation from Krishna because they're not in Vrindavan. So this is the, the topmost level of devotional service, Paramahamsa, that they, they see everywhere as Vrindavan, and they see everyone as a devotee of Vrindavan. 
这是奉献服务的最高的层面，就是他们妈妈的这些现有的层面，无论他们是到哪里，他们看到的都是很大的，无论他们见到谁，他们都都见到的是很大的奉献主。They think they're suffering because they're not in Vrindavan. Okay. Hayo Ventima. Hayo, Hayo, Hayo Hautiko. Oh, yeah. Um, Sayko Shir, Jinjin. Oh, our Krishna did my guru, Tian, made the house in my chief with the Punya Chimu Guru, Fei Fung Jin, Kay Sam Krishna Chita. So, yes, Fei Fung Jin, so Kay Chita Krishna. Ah, Kay, Fei Fung Jin, Kay Sam Krishna Chita. 下一个 ，next one， yeah， 下一个来自 novel 五，顶麦咕噜的莲花族，睡觉梦见灵导师，是，是灵导师在梦中显现吗？灵性老师在梦中显现呢 ？Well， yes， when you dream about the spiritual master， it said that that is real。So you should take it very seriously. Maybe spiritual master is trying to tell you something. Uh-huh. Um, my question is that because the seriousness of the pandemic in India, some yoga center in India, they are trying to help the neighbors. Uh, some groups are raising funds funds for these activities. So can we participate and to do the donate? Donate. We should donate for Krishna, for Krishna conscious programs, not for any other programs. So we have many pro we have programs here in India. We're doing many things to help the poor people and to help people during the disaster. During this pandemic situation, we're doing a lot of food distribution and we're having also some hospital facilities and offering medical treatment. So we need support. So you can donate for that. And this is this is approved. This is authorized by all the leaders in ISKCON. This activity, this program, is received by the ISKCON, the Krishna Conscious Cooperation Association, all the leaders' permission. But if you give your money to some other yoga society, they don't distribute Krishna Prasadam. And if you give, if there's some Mayavadi or impersonal yoga society, then you also end up becoming a Mayavadi and an impersonalist. Mayavadi假象宗, 非人格的协会, 那最终呢, 
But if you donate for Krishna's devotees to help Krishna's devotees, it will help you to get more bhakti. Yes. Okay. Okay, so how to give how to give the picture of Lord Nishingadeva bath? Well you can yes. you can bathe the ref, mirror reflection. You get a mirror and you reflect the picture in a mirror and you can pour the water or pour the substances for the Abhishek on the reflection in the mirror. So paste the mirror, right? Yeah. Directly paste the mirror. Uh, uh, yes. Dear Guan Yu Vyasa Puja, what, that, what mantra to chant when you do the bathing? Yeah, is it the same procedure as Vyasa Puja? Yes. And what mantra, which mantras to chant? Hare Krishna mantra. Yes. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Yeah. Yeah, yes. Is there uh, this is from Yaj. Is there really no difference at all between Goloka and Gokula? Goloka and Gokula No, I said the one difference is that in Goloka Krishna is always present, but in Gokula Krishna is sometimes present. He sometimes is manifest, sometimes not. Mm -hmm. The push panjala is the same as the, the, the Vyasa Puja for Guru. Well, push panjali, we don't usually do push pan, but you can offer flowers if you want. To Lord Nishinga David, you don't usually. We just bathe, bathe in Nishinga deity. The important part of the function is to describe the pastimes of the appearance of Lord Nishinga Dev. Mm. Why Krishna would repeat the same pastime if he can manifest unlimited different pastimes? Because some pastimes bring him very special pleasure and he likes it, the pleasure of that particular pastime. And it also shows the transcendental nature of Krishna's pastimes. 
也也表示出、展示出 Krishna 消时光的这种超然的本质。And it shows that Krishna, these pastimes are they're not boring for Krishna, but the pleasure is increasing. The more he performs, the more pleasure he gets. Said that the obeisance to Guru, our vision is material. So the Vrindavan in our vision should be different from the spiritual vision of Vrindavan, right? Yes. 是的，不一样。We're mm, really not really seeing Vrindavan because we're using the material eyes to see. 我们并没有看见Vrindavan，因为我们是在用肉眼在去看观察Vrindavan。You have to see Vrindavan through the eye of knowledge. 需要用知识的慧眼去观察文达文。Just like when you look at Krishna, you look at the deity of Krishna, you're using your material eyes. You cannot understand Krishna by the material eyes. 就像我们在进见神像的时候,如果我们是用这个物质的肉眼去看的话, we have to see with the eye of knowledge. Means you have to see through the scriptures. So we have to purify our consciousness. Prabhupada would say, you don't, do not go to Vrindavan just by buying a ticket to go there. You have to change the consciousness. Okay. 下一个是静心瑜伽顶拜咕噜与所有的奉献者请问咕噜如果奉献者身体不好需要口服药物需要注意什么呢 Obviously to the Guru and all devotees if where there is some problem with the health we need to take some uh, medicine so um, are there any prohibition what uh, should we take care of if we uh, take so, the medicine well you don't want to take anything which has got animal products in it You have to take medicine, all right, take medicine, but you make sure you get medicine which has not got animal parts in it. The last one. Yeah. The last one from Sumuki Rada. Devadasi, Dimbai Guru Maharaj, Fengxian Zheman. Chimen, Di San, Zhi Yan, Ho, Ling Xiu Shi Yu, Yu, Ho, Chi Bi. Obviously, to Guru Maharaj, a devotee, what's the dif difference between 
the third eye on the spiritual vision. The third eye. Well, the third eye is described, Lord Shiva has three eyes. The third eye, from the third eye there is, is it fire comes from the third eye of Lord Shiva? I can't remember now. Uh, anyway, spiritual vision is to see through the eyes of the scriptures. Yeah, Lord Shiva has three eyes, and the, the third eye, sometimes fire will come out from that third eye. But sometimes knowledge can come also from the third eye. So when we say we have to see with spiritual vision, means we have to see according to the scriptures. Just like when we go to see the deities, we should understand the deity is non different, is actually Krishna Himself. It's not just a, a representation of Krishna, but it's Krishna personally manifests there as a deity. And similarly, when we chant the holy name, we should understand that the holy name is not simply Krishna's name, but it is Krishna directly and in the form of the holy name. Krishna is his name. Krishna is his name. So spiritual vision is to understand in that way, guided by spiritual guided by spiritual knowledge. So we have to when we we have to be guided by spiritual knowledge. All right, any other questions? Mm. The, the host said that uh, we keep the question for next time and uh, today's question will be end here. How many questions are still there? Uh, they don't raise uh, questions anymore now. Oh. Okay. So then we'll stop. So, Vaman Ganshiya, Guru Mani, Mataji, Gim Vaman Jin Taidafani, Ganshiya, Amy, Amy Juja, Vaman Ganshi, huh? Ganshiya, so the functions are linked in. Ganshi Nima Jufu Nima Shangha Kwaila Chang Song Kwaila Wan Shi Ru Yi Chuan Jiao Sun Li Shri Prabhupada Ki Jai 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 Jai
Go back to me. Thank you, Kurumani. Hare Krishna.